Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, uh, we've actually jumped into a new system at this point, and like I said, I'm, I'll probably start doing some one and a half as long as it's allow in this system. Because I'd rather really quit jumping around. It, it's like a month to just travel somewhere. So I, I've got enough money here, uh, but I'm, it's getting, it's getting a little, a little closer than I'd like. So, let's, uh, let's check the vindicator here. Because of my, like, 8 million, although I do melee a lot with this, so I do not get uh, the, the maximum amount of evasion pips. What we're going to do is, because I completely forgot that I had picked up some other, whoops, wait. Yes, that's right. Uh, we got the heat exchanger, where is it? Alright, there it is. So, two tons, though. But that's fine, because we have the spiked helmet, so... Uh, this is going to give me a little bit more melee damage, two injuries resisted on uh, Behemoth, who's actually been injured several times. It's going to allow me to get the Exchanger as well. I mean, I, I have a half ton here. I could armor up a little bit more. I, I still have the Heat Sink Kit. I'm wondering if the Double Heat Sink Kit didn't come off the... Didn't I have, isn't this the game where I had a, a mech that, uh, I started with five mechs? I believe this is the game. The Stinger or something like that. And, uh, yeah, I put that in storage immediately because I wanted nothing to do with it. So do I armor up or it looks like I've got, uh, honestly some, some room to spare. What do we... Hmm. It's three tons too, isn't it? Yeah. How much are the various fluid guns? I just can't see spending two tons on some of these fluid guns. I understand it's for a... <sighs> What's... How do I put this? The oil gun, I don't think, or the inferno gun, I don't think, are for five heat damage, of course. Uh, of course, it generates 15 heat for two turns. The oil gun here is a uh, target takes two times stability. Oh, it's two times stability damage, and you have impaired movement. I thought, okay, it's the infernal gun that does the heat over time. I thought that was the oil gun when you shot your weapons. I thought that uh, made them okay. No, so that works a little different than I thought. Uh, but I've got the paint gun, negative 50% sight, negative two accuracy. I just don't see that being worth two tons. I, I really don't. The acid gun. Honestly, a couple of acid guns on like a support mech with maybe a, a light that's an arc beacon and maybe a tag as well to really uh, pop something with a whole bunch of uh, things and then increase the damage, my ability to hit it, and then just blow it up. That doesn't sound half bad to me, but uh, generally speaking, I'm just not... I'm not feeling most of that. Uh, what I really wanted to look at and see is, do I just got a small laser? Okay, so I, I guess I should show this first. Um, do we throw the small laser on here? Okay, so whatever. We'll take the exchanger off for a moment. Our heat efficiency is 60 heat sinking, uh, but our alpha strike is 90. So we, we uh, just absolutely cripple ourselves as we're sprinting around the bottle, battlefield. And dropping that. So this is going to be uh, negative 6 heat per turn. It's just like a heat sink, which uh, I don't have any on this mech. But I'm also getting negative 15% weapon heat. It's, it's really offsetting the PPC capacitor. And then negative 15%. Honestly, not much on the, uh, the mediums there. We want the exchanger in the head, actually. Uh, and what we see is we went from 60-90 to 66-76. So I might, as I'm closing in, be able to get a couple of rounds with the heavy PPC fired. Um, one from long distance and then maybe one again. I don't know if I'll even be able to fire the lasers alongside of it. I, I mean, I got a half ton. Uh, it's uh, 20, 30, 40, 50... Yeah, that's I, I could definitely eat it all up in armor, but I'm really not wanting to. If the if like the anti missile system was half a ton, I would probably throw it on a lot more mechs because I find myself with a half ton often enough where I'm just like, well, what the do I just want to armor up more or do I want to grab you know like a small laser? Small laser is so very little damage though. I think I'm just 
I mean, I don't know if this is optimal, but I think we're just going to armor up. Oh, we only need a half ton, so I only have 45 clicks. So let's go ahead and pull a couple off those. Am I happy with the back still 65? Yes, yes I am. So yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm going to do. Half ton, there just seems to be... Unless you have like a half ton of ammo or you need to throw a case on something. Just doesn't seem to be many options for a half ton. But I will happily trade, even though negative 15% uh, reduced damage from missile attacks. It does generate 5 heat a turn though, for the laser version. I mean, that's, that's good, but at the same time, I, I run this mech very hot anyway. So grabbing the exchanger instead is fantastic. It seems like a no-brainer to me, so let's go ahead and do that, and then we got one more that we're going to do here, which is we're going to pull a ton off of the cicada. I didn't really know how I was going to fit a tag on here. I guess I could have done this, honestly, like years ago. Um, we have uh, two AC-5s, um, 15 rounds. Honestly, the AC-5 with 23, because we're really kind of keeping a, a crazy distance here. I don't know how I'm going to fit a case on this thing now. Hopefully we'll just find something better. Uh, but we'll take the regular AC-5 ammo and take that off, and then we go to the support. I hate having this... Oh, that, that bothers me so much. Um, I do hate having the NARC or the TAG, if you depending upon which one I'm utilizing, on a medium mech. I, I generally want to fire that off first with my first mech, and sometimes I do do a bit of Whoops, passing overall. I thought I grabbed something else really good. Are, are you really going to do this to me? No, I don't want the Narc Beacon. I want the tag. Jeez. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're going to put it here. Why not? We have so much already over there. So that, that I can at least tag something in case there's some bigger mediums, because I might be running into those in the near future. So yeah, that's, uh, that's something we're going to do there. It is going to give me a lot less shots with the AC-5, but I don't think I'm coming anywhere close to... What's that, 11 sustained rounds, and I can still shoot one uh, for the 12th round? That's a, that's a fair amount. So the caseless ammo... It honestly uh, is quite good. Uh, if I didn't absolutely hate Federated Suns, I would probably look at what they can get. It is pretty fantastic. Can't really fit the Narc Beacon on here, and I swear I got something really good alongside that helmet. Although, maybe I grabbed a Chasis or something, I don't remember. Because I'm not really seeing anything else here. I just checked for the Exchanger, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have other things here that are good. Really, if I want to start, uh, well, let's just go ahead and get myself moving again. If I really want to, basically, uh, can get the Narc Beacon on there, I'm basically going to have to have a whole bunch of advanced materials, like four Tier 3 advanced materials, or... Honestly, I can't get enough Tier 2s to do it. Well, I might, I might be able to scrap a little bit of armor to get the narc beacon on there. I probably would, actually. Just, uh... I, I did look desperately on where can I fit this narc beacon in here, and, uh... The conclusion I came to is... nowhere good. Uh, definitely not worth it, so... Um, uh, dwindling supplies, you're finally around... they pay their... how much? Oh, uh... I wonder if I do the crew, if that's going to up my medical and mech tech and stuff, but... I've got the money, I hate to do it. Uh, the morale increase not lasting. But uh, high spirits on Behemoth, okay. Um, I could probably use the uh, Vigilance or whatever that's called fairly easy on her to make her moves a light more. Okay, so there's... Wait, is this the planet I was at before? No, it's not. It's just just looks very similar. Um, actually, we are gonna check the store real quick. I lied to you. I am sorry. Uh, again, Hunchback. I mean, there are some foreign parts that literally might be for my battle. 
I don't, I don't, it's not worth the amount of money. Uh, I do have two parts. If I need a part, I might think about it, but, uh, ERPPC, uh, Considering I'm using Kinetics, I probably don't want to go with like an ERPPC, uh, but that would be incredibly handy on a lot of my, my snipers I like to leave in the back there. Uh, LRM15+, plus probably stability damage dealt. Oh, that's actually not bad. I don't really have anything I can use it on. Uh, you want how much for a case 2? That's, that's insane. You're insane, game. Tons of fusion cores, uh, heavy pharaoh. Ooh, it's the heavy pharaoh version, so negative twenty percent weight change per. Uh, it's not, it's not the pharaoh's fiber. It's not the light pharaoh. It's the heavy pharaoh. So that's a, uh, that would be really good if I was running my normal type of lances with most. See the tier three materials. That's what I need. Four of those will give me three tons. Uh, Spall Liner, Warframe, Sweet, QS. What's the QS? Um, oh, some little cells rep for this one. We had uh, Quick Cell, got your back. Our lightweight can do everything. Theirs can do for only half the price? Plus one, plus one, uh, plus one with the accuracy. Plus 10% sensor, plus 10% sight. Oh, plus 10% heat generated, so... A uh, much cheaper version of a Warframe Suite, but uh, it's going to add some uh, some heat overall. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let's uh, pop in and take a peek at the contracts. So uh, hopefully my Vindicator now, I can get a couple PPC shots as I'm closing in. And then if I happen to have versus like a slower mover or something, maybe I get something unsteadied. Or knock down, uh, maybe being able to, damn it, uh, take another PPC shot. There's nothing here that I really, what, what kind of battle is, or what, what is this? This is a recovery? Oh, excuse me, it's still a recovery. Uh, what, what are you? You're a battle? I think we just go for it, uh, because I... I don't want to blow too much money traveling around because I don't know if wherever I go next is there's going to be anything there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think we just take the battle here. We're we're still going to grab. I still want one piece of salvage, so I have to go center center, but. I am not excited about this, but I'm completely lined up. All of my good pilots, I actually do have high spirits on one of them. So I can get uh, some movement in the light phase. Oops, you're not the one I need. I need Gator. And then I need Glitch. Oh, poor Behemoth. You're, uh, you're a ways back there. So this will basically just pay for the month and let me re-jump again. I'm pretty sure this was not the planet I was at before. But uh, who knows? Who knows? That's unfortunate. That's actually terribly unfortunate. I swear I got... I got the spiked helmet and I thought that there was one other... <sighs> thought there was one other item I got right there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it was a mech part that I wanted. Who knows? Who knows? Can't seem to figure it out, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I wonder if I didn't pick that up when I picked the claws up, and I just completely missed it when I updated my mechs. Well, that's one thing, uh, is I will miss occasionally, you know. Uh, that's like, duh. I mean, I've had the tag for quite a while, and I really needed it in the game. We should expect a good number of mediums here. Hopefully one lance? I think there's two lances that I can already see, though. So maybe maybe there's a fair amount of lights here. Okay, let's reserve. Maybe, maybe they'll come forward. Well, they will. How nice of them. Let's try reserving again, just to see. Okay. 
All right, glitch. Uh... Just so I can get eyes on both of them and make a decision here. Got a blackjack. We got a hunchback. Four SP. Bunch of SR rims and not quite a laser boat, but a fair amount. AC twos. Uh. Four medium lasers, too small. This is actually the blackjack exactly that I have in my other LoW playthrough. 37s. I mean, the hunchback, if you can get to the backside, there's so little armor on the base hunchback that shooting it uh, kind of is insane. Thankfully, these are actually... I think because I happen to be fighting about where it thinks my lance is strength-wise, maybe that's where I've been messing up. Uh... Blackjack a little bit harder to hit, but let's be honest, uh, I can punch through this probably a lot faster than I can the Hunchback. The Hunchback is more dangerous, but I've really got to get behind it. So maybe we'll try to cripple the Blackjack and then get some uh, some flanking attacks there. Okay, not great, not great, but... Oh, so yes, the tag is up and run. I'm like, what is that fifth weapon? What is going on here? Okay, that's just going to lower my hit chance, so we'll move afterwards. Take some shots. Hopefully we'll tag. I should have tagged first. I miss with the tag, though. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't want the blackjack to really get sight on me. I think we take the negative hit chance just to get a little evasion and get in the forest. It's just a couple of AC2s. Yeah, AC2s on there. Honestly, I really like pulling those off with, for AC5s. And in the base game, adding some jump jets. Uh, in this game, I don't think the jump jets are as needed. In the base game, I literally just shoot AC5s and jump around. I don't even need extra ammo. One ton is more than enough until I don't need the blackjack anymore. Because the hit chances are really quite quite easy. 21s, 18s, so that's a little better, but then I almost have to run around afterwards to get up there. I don't know if that was worth it for a 3%. Oh, uh, we could see another mech back there, though. Okay, we're not, we're not going to cripple the blackjack, I don't think. Okay, well, whatever. Um, 23 on the heavy PPC... 26, 26, um, I mean, if I hit with the heavy PPC, I will not delete, but I will almost be internal, so do I go for that, or do I literally just try to take this blackjack down? I think we try to take the blackjack down, and look at that heat efficiency now. Beautiful, so one in four chance that we hurt this badly, and we do not hurt it badly. Uh, I do have the light advantage, though, at this point. Waiting for orders. Um, I mean, that almost leaves me a little protected right there, so... No back attacks. I can get flank, though. Fortunately, I can only bring four weapons to bear then, but that's... It's more than enough for here. And what we're trying to do is just get crits on some SRM ammo, which I don't know where it's at, but... Uh, Probably the left uh, torso right here, I would... Pretty sure... Yep, there's the SRM ammo. Ammo explosion, pilot injured, engine destroyed. There we go. That's why you want a case at least, or... Uh, the the case uh, too, which is... You know, not quite as good, but still very good. Alright, so we're definitely in range of a bunch of laser vomit. What do we have back here, by the way? Trebuchet, LRM-15, three mediums. That's not too bad. It's really not too bad. Uh, and we, we miss with pretty much everything we need to hit with. Take the flanking shot, but uh, my javelin laughs with, it, laughs with its six evasion. Ha 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 ha. Oh, there's only uh, three mechs here, too. I'm really, I'm really contemplating... Was I should I have been going for hmm twenty eights and fifties? 
Should I have been going for these one and a halves? Um, would that have really have helped me? Because it seems like this is going to be a lot easier than fighting multiple, multiple lances across the game. Target acquired. There we go. Unfortunately, well, the blackjack still got a lot of hit points left. And I do have another ERPPC I can throw at it. Trebuchet, the long-range uh, support mech, is going to run into melee for God knows what reason. 51% chance. That's only a 23. If I get closer, is that going to... I don't think it is. No. Uh, so we are not going to go full evasion, because I, if I hit with the heavy... PPC, thank goodness for that extra one from the tag. That probably brought me up over the 50. So we got a coin flip here. Oh, and we still don't do it. Um, another medium laser crit. So this thing's losing lasers like crazy. Honestly, the trebuchet, it's, uh, it's pretty dodgy right now. So I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that. So we're going to. Probably have Gator move around first, because if you block it with another mech, it will obstruct, and it will give you uh, slightly worse hit chances. No shooting, just running. Unfortunately, we, we've done a bunch of damage to the front, so it's, it's a little bit of wasted fire, but oh well. Okay, upper arm destroyed, medium laser destroyed, heat sink destroyed. Okay, that's, that's decent. Uh, it's, it's, whoops, it's not great. Kind of hoping I get some middle hits there and maybe just take the engine again. All these light mechs, they are, they are quite... They can be quite dangerous, as long as they don't get hit a whole lot. Okay, so we just wrecked that blackjack. And I, I would definitely trade the blackjack for my cicada down there, by the way. I would do that in a heartbeat. Well... Yeah, I would do that in a heartbeat. I think you just opened yourself up to another back shot from my cicada. You did not. Just out of curiosity, can where where are you facing? Oh, I'd have to be way over here. No, I can't. I can't do that. Uh, we'll just we'll we'll take the shot. It's already tagged for a couple turns, but that's that's mostly. Fine, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm. We're gonna we're gonna go with the multi-target here. Uh, A and B, and we're just gonna throw the tag at B, just so hopefully I can hit it a little easier after I take this uh, blackjack out. AC2 ammo explosion again. If you're gonna bring missiles, if you're gonna bring things like that, gotta get not just case case two. Uh, so let's uh. Probably right about there. That'll work. If that's the best you got, you're in serious trouble. Ready for order. Um. Well, let's let's just see. Just just out of curiosity. Whoops. Uh. Wait. We can't quite hit there. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll come up and take the melee swing. I do like being able to, to pop those shots, though. Even at, like, 20%, I know I can fire it a few more times. That's really good with that PPC there, in my opinion. Oh, fusion crit. Uh, are we going to be able to pop him? Nope, just the leg. Alright, but he now moves during the heavy because I have the juggernaut trade. So I have a whole lot of mechs that uh, take some shots at him. Which leg did we hit? We hit the right leg? Hmm. I mean, that's a back shot. I don't get to bring my arc welders to bear, but I think that's fine. We're going to try to just crit the engine and or make the pilot object here. Oh, well, we'll just I guess take it out instead. Yeah, so I guess I was doing it I guess I was doing it wrong. I think mission choices is different too. I really came to a conclusion that those uh, those base attacks 
so it seems like it's trying to trying to give me a, a pretty fair shot at this point. It's not throwing like too many lances at me or anything. Again, I think there's some variance in it, not just to do with your lance, but just in general the game kind of rolls up and down a little bit sometimes. But that's good. We, we, we're we definitely good with those. Uh, still, capture the bases? No, 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 no. We're not doing those. Uh, destroy the bases? No, we're not doing those either. I have no interest in trying those uh, because that would be ridiculous. Did I even get hit? Oh, they hit my, my Venom a little bit and they hit my Vindicator. That's right. 750 experience, though. I think I can get a uh, glitch up there. So I only get one. Um, oh yeah, because I wanted the uh, the ability to travel uh, and still have another month's payment in the bank. So yeah, I'm a little little more cautious with my funds here. I like to always have at least one month up. Uh, do I go? I, I really don't want a hunchback. Uh, the trebuchet's not. Well, I don't really have any any spread damage because I'm not using any missiles on anything else this game. Do I want to go with maybe the trebuchet instead of more pinpoint with the blackjack? Mm. Eeny, meeny, miny. We'll go with the trebuchet. We're going to hope for the blackjack. Wait, was there anything else down here that was really needed? No. Um, honestly, I could use some SRM-6s in case I need them later. LRM-15 would be nice, and the Blackjack would be nice. Hunchback would be okay, too, but that would be like a kind of secondary wish. Uh, SRM-6, okay. So a couple medium lasers other than that. That's fine, though. Uh, with the money I got, that'll put me over a million. That's going to cover me traveling, because I don't want to do any more missions for... I want to get my rep up with uh, with the uh, Capelling Confederation here. Okay, so hmm, I think I have a lot more missions opened up to me. I think money's now not so much an object. I think I've still got to be careful, though, and cautious, just because that was three mechs, not a double lance. Uh, running into, you know, a, a double lance with, you know, two to four uh, mediums and some vehicles as backup or some uh, some good lights, especially, you know... Um, <laughs> Capelling Confederation took something again. That's great news. Uh, two days to repair. I don't think there's any other missions here, but we... We, I never scooched back, actually. Let's let's see. Because I think the game is pretty terrible about that. Iron Man's always saving for me. Thank you. There are some more missions here. Again, I don't want to do any for the free worlds. But there's a uh, there's a one skull and then like a, another one. Ooh, defend base. That's doable. That's doable. Uh, and recovery can be a little little bit of a pain. Anyways. Thanks for watching, as always, and until next time.